defining an epic or initiative is not always straightforward. You need to do research, often define user personas, gather requirements, etc. This not only changes based on the problem you are trying to solve and the knowledge you have, but also based on the organization you work for and your team's preferences. So in this video, I am sharing an example of a process that is very common. This, of course, can be changed or updated based on how your team works. I will be focusing on the defining the epic or initiative in this video, but if you are curious about how to get the research phase done, you can watch our next video. Here is a general idea of what we will go over on our next video. Run some competitive research about what type of solutions your competitors have, depending on the initiative, maybe based on characteristics and features comparison or maybe based on your product strategy. If you are interviewing or talking with stakeholders and users to gain insights, we recommend using our stakeholders' requirements template. It helps you keep everything each person said organized and also ensures the team has visibility on the role each person has in decision making. It looks like this. If you are moving into defining the epic or initiative, you can select this initiative canvas tool as a template. Of course, if your team has specific things they want to change, they can make changes and update it, so you use the right template and not the default one. This template is a whiteboard that gives you the opportunity to gather all the information you probably need to think about before writing the initiative or epic on Jira. Not all sections will need to be filled out, as not always it makes sense, but you should most of the time at least think about if this applies to this initiative or not. You start by writing an overview of the initiative, and then you write down which users will be affected by this initiative. Basically, who is this initiative for, and who could be affected by this initiative in a positive or negative way. Now you will define who is involved and in leading the initiative. Then you move to the justification. I personally believe this section is key. Define what the problem is that you are trying to solve and why solving it is a priority. We often see teams here that after research, the epic or initiative doesn't really focus on solving the problem that was first defined. Sometimes teams don't spend enough time trying to understand the problem, so they build solutions nobody needs. Next, define the objective. In other words, the desired outcome. After that, define all the assumptions you are making and, if possible, organize it in a way where you put the high risk at the top so you can chat with your team and stakeholders about it or define ways to find additional insights and information to reduce risks. Your research plan should be defined based on this. Now you move to the user stories. I'm sure you are familiar with this. One interesting thing about this template is that it includes an estimate and priority section. This is a good way for the product manager to start evaluating what could really be defined as out of scope to ensure you are efficiently validating your product before committing to building the perfect solution. Now we move into some team things. Sometimes teams take this section out, but we really recommend discussing this with your team. It helps the team really understand what is important. In values, the team will define what the principles or values that should guide the decision making are. For example, when the designer is thinking about a design solution, what should they automatically know that should never be jeopardized, or what should be prioritized? For example, some teams have as key values simplicity over perfection and product validation and velocity. So, in other words, making sure solutions and features can be validated and that solutions are built fast and can be tested before building the perfect solution. 
Some other values can be costs or things more related to the technology or design, like mobile-friendly, etc. These often repeat, and the team becomes familiar with them, so you don't have to keep adding those here, but it is good to define them. Next, define how you would measure success. Are there any metrics that you would follow? Would the engineering team have to keep those in mind? When and how often would you monitor these metrics? What's success? What would be a good result? What would happen if results are not good? Would the solution change or be removed based on those results? What are you trying to validate in this first or second iteration? Now define team rituals and celebrations. Here again, you can choose to skip this, but we really recommend it because it helps you open this for discussion with your team. Define team rules and expectations, rituals and celebrations. For example, define how often you meet, how should the process be, what is expected of each team member, and define how you would celebrate this milestone or sprint once done. Define this ideally as a team. The next section helps you think about some of the tough decisions. Add all the requirements here. Add one per sticky note, then organize all those requirements based on must-have and nice-to-have. Now define when you think this should be done. Maybe it's just one sprint or three. Again, this does not always apply because not all teams define their timelines, but others do. So it's up to you if you want to keep this. The next section is important. Here you define the things that can influence decisions or changes in the epic. So the product manager kind of needs to think deeply about how the solution could work to define this and kind of already predict potential changes it can be things that affect the design, the requirements, the technology you are using, the timeline, or how developers approach this. Then you add everything that will be out of scope. Additionally, you have a section for data and analytics. Maybe you want to share current data, or you want to mention things related to how data will be tracked. You can also add links to findings and research here so it can easily be found by any team member. This is important. All team members should be able to have access to all the insights. Transparency is key. Finally, define the definition of done. As mentioned earlier, this is just a template that can be modified, but this is, in general, the type of things a product manager will need to think about or explore when thinking and defining an epic or initiative. Of course, once all the information about the epic is defined and discussed with the team, then you can add this to Jira for the design team or the development team. If you have questions about what should be different about your tickets in Jira and your board, the answer is not equal for all, as it depends on your team. But often in Jira, you will define the problem you are trying to solve. You will add all the user stories, define the requirements, and sometimes even include a must-have, nice-to-have, and out-of-scope, and the definition of done. Then you can add a link to the design, the user personas, and the initiative or epic board for more information. That is all for this video. See you next time.